Well, obviously, distributors are kind of almost, you know, the guys behind the scenes who, who make a lot of this stuff happen. I mean, for sales and for, for retailers out there, especially third-party retailers, uh, you guys are kind of core to their operations. Uh, I guess, what does, what, I mean, what are you guys bringing to the market that's perhaps different? I mean, obviously, like you said, you've been in the market for a long time. I'm sure a lot of experience. You've seen a lot of changes in this market. Uh, what is ICE, I guess, bringing perhaps to the market and to Verizon in particular that's, that's maybe different or maybe perhaps, perhaps unique that, that some of the other companies out there uh, maybe aren't quite tapping into yet? Um, I think in many ways we bring that 30 years of experience. and That's the first place I'd start. And it's not just my experience, but also the experience of my co-founder, Denise Gibson. Um, together we have a lot of experience in this business from different aspects. I think that's that combination of the two that really will provide something unique. Um, in terms of um, you know, tangible things that we you know, have, I think having been an agent in the past allows us to really understand where our customers are and what, are, what their needs are. That is a unique thing, and and I have a I think I'll have a special affinity with our customers simply because I have that in my lineage in that DNA. Um, I know what drives them. I would know it's important. Um, I really believe, from my experience, that um, certainly you got to have the product on the shelves and you got to have um, offer credit lines, but you need to have somebody you have a relationship with and you trust. And I know it sounds old-fashioned and I know it sounds sort of arcane, but at the end of the day. That's what I was driven by, and I think that's what we're going to drive ICE by. I think it's really uh, tapping into understanding that background um, and, and also providing real history and credibility. Um, the next thing that we have that's unique is, on top of the 30 years that nobody else has, is two distribution centers. Um, we've been, uh, every other distributor in the country, um, including Verizon, for Verizon, on the Verizon side, um, has facilities east of Mississippi and a single distribution center. Um, we'll be the only one with two distribution centers, one in Los Angeles and one in Vernon Hills near Chicago. And that allows us to provide even better support to customers and retailers across the country. Um, there'll be more, having two distribution centers allows us to have later shipping times and later ordering times mm -hmm. and allows us to cover a much greater ship territory on next day ground rates. So it allows for much, much more flexibility, much more management over controls. Wireless business moves very fast, as you know. And ability to get product the next day at no increased cost in shipping, I think we provide a real service. So it's that kind of thing, though. I came from a retailer, from a, from an agent point of view, a master agent point of view. I knew how important that was. Um, so now we're providing that service. Um, the other thing that we'll provide, I think, that's that's unique, um, is we really do have some pretty special systems uh, that uh, IT systems and reporting systems that we've developed over the last 30 years in our cellular phone company that we're licensing to ICE. Um, these, are, these are systems that have helped our, our dealers, our sub-dealers for years succeed and thrive. Um, things that are really focused on how to make the business better, how to get more out of the business. Um, these systems will be a part of um, ICE at launch and they really provide something special. Um, something is, you know, sounds something simple, but as simple as having full online ordering capability for everything we offer from day one is something that doesn't happen today. And I think those are the kinds of things that are the result of our serving sub-dealers for 30 years, and now we'll be able to upstream that to the rest of the distribution network. Yeah. Well, it does seem like you're right. I mean, the, the distribution channel seems like a pretty important part of I mean, having two different uh, uh, locations there because it does seem like nowadays, I mean, you know, consumers are looking for uh, and shopping in different ways now. I mean, a lot of online shopping now. Uh, and it seems like for retailers out there to really remain competitive, uh, being able to get devices uh, pretty quick, it seems like that's become more important nowadays than perhaps you know five, ten years ago, where there wasn't this, these, this vast number of online retailers that were able to you know ship things out next day or whatever it is. It seems that's a pretty important aspect nowadays. I, I believe it is. It was. It would have been for me as a customer, so I'm trying to provide what the customer needs, and I think that it's it's a combination of things. It's getting them quick and less expensively. Yeah. So margin is always a question. So being able to provide next day ground to a much larger part of the populace or one day shipping yeah. to a much larger part of the, po the whole country is something that I think it will give us a, um, a, a little bit of an advantage. We still have to do a lot of other things right, but I think that's a good start. And it's all about finding ways to help make our customers succeed. Gotcha. And obviously, yeah, you mentioned earlier your, your co-founder there, Denise, who, who was with uh, uh, Brightstar, I believe, uh, initially, too. So like you said, you are definitely bringing a lot of expertise uh, to this market, you know, from your 30 years, and also from 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 Nice working at at, at Brightstar too, it seems like it's a pretty uh, pretty power-packed uh, co-founding uh, group there for you guys. Well, she's a pretty 
uh, pretty special person, and for sure her background, both at Brightstar, but also before that at Motorola. I don't know if you know this, she was the SVP of sales nationwide for Motorola when um, the StarTac was launched, so it goes back away. So she has great depth of experience as well. Um, Brightstar US has been a tremendous uh, distributor in the in, for the Verizon over the years, uh, no longer now, but for over the years, and uh, she was a big part of that, obviously. And the other thing that she has, and I think we have together, and this is how we got together, really, um, is we've been working at the Consumer Electronics Association, the CEA, for many years together. Um, she and I were uh, we're in the wireless division. I was a chair, and she was the chair of the year after. We chaired, I chaired the division executive board. She was the chair after the year after. And then the year after that, um, for, for three or four years, we were on the executive board, the big board of the CEA together. Um, as you know, the CEA is who runs the CES. And in that those roles, we did a lot, I think, together, along with a lot of our people, but in our leadership roles, we did a lot together to really impact the wireless industry on a nonprofit, global kind of macro basis. Um, this opportunity that came up gives us an opportunity to have another kind of impact um, through Rice Mobility together. And we know we work well together. We know we, we deliver great things together. And that's so it's, it's, not, it's going to be a great partnership. Yeah. yeah, and obviously, yeah, I mean, anybody who's been to the CES show over the past couple of years uh, knows the growing influence there that wireless has had at that event. Uh, it's become almost, uh, probably perhaps the, the de facto large uh, domestic wireless show for the most part. So, uh, yeah, it's obviously a, a lot of work there for you guys, and it's a big organization to work with. Uh, well, I mean, again, I know we talked, you know, I think last year, uh, you know, kind of about what was happening in the space, and you kind of updated us a bit, you know, obviously smartphones have become a, a big part of the of the distribution channel for you guys, and, and consumers are, you know, can't seem to get enough of, of smartphones. Uh, you know, at one point there was, I, mean, I think we talked a bit about uh, the device, device financing models that had come out last year and how that perhaps had impacted the market as well. Uh, I guess, you know, over the past six months or so, eight months or so, uh, I mean, have you seen any, any big changes in the market when it comes to, you know, what your distributor uh, partners are looking for, what the retailers are looking for, or is it still kind of just the same kind of, you know, smartphone-driven uh, type of uh, uh, sales uh, uh, channels out there? Well, there for sure there is um, smartphones are dominant right now, um, and as new phone comes out, new phones come out, that you know, new device launches are a huge part of distribution. But what really, is, I think, from the last time we talked, when uh, installment plans were just beginning to launch to where we are now, has been a real shift. I think the adoption rate of installment plans and um, has much been much greater and much faster than even the best project projections. Yeah. And this is across all carriers. Um, and in my experience, for sure, at Verizon, um, it's been really, really amazing. And I think it, it's, it is, in, when you ask for what would have changed in the last seven months, that's probably the biggest change, is the impact of the installment plans. And on multiple levels, um, in different ways that were anticipated and, and maybe in depth that wasn't anticipated, certainly it creates opportunity for new, new handset sales mm -hmm. um, and more reasons for new handset. But by taking what would be otherwise a $200 upgrade to zero out the door, it also creates all sorts of other margin opportunities to do add-ons. Um, things like certainly, you know, the traditional accessories um, that go along with it, but also it provides the opportunity to add on a tablet. Um, and that's another category that's really grown dramatically in the last few months. And I think because of the installment plans, because all of a sudden you're not paying $200 for, for out, the po out of pocket for a new your new upgrade to your new Samsung Galaxy S5, but you are at the same time able to get your tablet along with it, along with an accessory, because you're using those $2, $2 for something else. So what the installment plans have done is really provided not only a revenue opportunity, but a margin opportunity that really is changing the business and is changing it, the opportunities to those sales forces, those retailers that can access those opportunities. As a distributor, I think one of our roles going forward is how do we help and support our retailers and our customers to access those opportunities. But I, I, I'll tell you, I personally, um, I'm uh, uh, as excited as ever about wireless retail for me and my customers that we're going to have because I think what, what's happened is we have these amazing devices that have become literally the portals to your world that are as crucial to you. You can't think about walking out your door without your keys or your cell phone or you go back and get your, you got to have your keys, but you go back and get your cell phone because this is your portal to your whole life. It's becoming more so um, because of, of um, just the, the evolution of, of the devices and getting a new one that quickly is important. The other thing I think that's been the big interesting part of the business has been the ongoing reputed success or the success 
of the reported success, uh, Best Buy and its, and its turnaround. Yeah. Um, and I think um, that's a real lesson there for everybody, and I think it's a lesson what's driven in, in many ways has been the success of the Samsung Experience stores um, within Best Buy. And I think that kind of ex that time people spend with their customers, it's something you can't get online. It's something you spend time with customers, giving what they want, having them learn how to use this portal in a more thorough way, and then find ways to add the tablet along with the installment plan. Um, I think those are great lessons that um, even in the last six months have really come to, to bear and really, I think, make this as good a time for wireless retailers as ever if they can find a way to access those opportunities. Yeah, that's a great point. It does seem like the, the retail environment has definitely evolved and changed probably more over the past uh, 12, uh, 9 to 12 months than it probably did in the previous 15 years. I mean, obviously, the smartphone revolution was a big revolution, but you're right, the way the, the sales channels now is, is different. Like you said, where it's now customers are coming in paying full price for the device as opposed to getting subsidized device. Smartphones are, the tablets are coming out now. Uh, you know, companies like Samsung, like you said, are, are being very aggressive in kind of marketing their devices too. So it does seem like that retail environment it is a different market now than, than again, than it was 12 months ago. And I'm sure those retailers, you know, a lot of those retailers have been around for a long time as well. And I'm sure for them, there's just some big changes going on that they haven't ever experienced before. So, you know, having someone, I'm sure, to, to kind of walk them through it, I'm sure is a pretty, pretty helpful part for, for, for them as they kind of, you know, deal with this, this evolution in the, in the retail channel. Well, I think that's where we can bring our 30 years of uh, Denise and my and our organization's 30 years experience to really focus on those things that matter and not just delivering a device. If we were just delivering a device, anybody could do it. It's more, it's, that's the foundation of it, but it's also much more than that. And, and that's why we sort of, uh, one of our taglines is committed to our partner's success, to each partner's success. I think uh, back to what distinguishes us, I think each customer and each partner is going to have its own separate needs. And I think one of the things that we'll do uniquely um, is be able to provide, identify those needs and seek out those needs by customer. Um, that's why our tagline is wireless distribution your way. Um, the focus is that we're going to focus one customer at a time. Cellulophone was successful for 30 years. That was embedded in our DNA and be flexible by customer. And that's what we're going to bring to the, this channel and try to identify by customer, which of these new things we've been talking about here can be successful for them and help find different ways to help them access those things. It's, we really view it as our, as our role to help our, each of our customers succeed. Gotcha. Good. And obviously, my final question, too, it does seem like that working with Verizon, you know, uh, they, they're kind of known perhaps as a bit of a, uh, um, not a conservative company, but they, you know, they like to have things a certain way, perhaps, and they've got certain standards, and uh, I'm sure trying to meet those standards uh, perhaps is a, not a challenge, but uh, obviously there's uh, probably some different... Uh, uh, models there that have to be put in place to make sure that Verizon uh, remains happy. But obviously, you guys, you know, working with them, uh, I've been able to, to, to match that. Uh, I'm guessing that, uh, yeah, I guess working with Verizon is perhaps a, a little bit of a different challenge for you guys. Well, listen, I, I've been working for 30 years, and I bleed red. I mean, I wear red ties wherever I go. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's. In many ways, their success. I mean, their success has become our success, and our, and I, and I think there's a lot of opportunity to work with them. There's a lot of opportunity in the business to help the distribution channel with them, and uh, frankly, I wouldn't, you know, 30 years later, I'm loving it, and, and they've given us this new opportunity to be a distributor of theirs, one of only three in the country, and um, we'll find new ways to partner with them. When we talk about partners, it's OEMs, it's Verizon, it's customers, and we really think that, um, I guess it's a challenge, business is a challenge. To me, this yeah. I don't look at it that way. It's a huge opportunity, and I'm very, very excited to be, uh, to have it, and and for, for myself and for our entire team, which is uh, which is really into this whole program and, and can't wait to have the opportunity to have the impact on every, on the whole distribution chain as we have with our master agent business over the last 30 years. That sounds good. Well, great. well hey, Mike, again, we appreciate the insights today. And uh, thanks again for, for catching us up on what's happening out there in the retail space. And and, uh, and good luck with the, with the new venture there, obviously. Uh, you guys have a lot of work ahead of you, but it sounds like you have a good platform in place. And between you and Denise, uh, uh, some good experience there. So it sounds like you guys are off uh, on the right foot, at least. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to it, and we'll see you again soon. All right. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.